it's Crew Blind Wave. I'm Calvin. Rick. Jane. And we are back with Mailbag. 112. Everything on the table. <laughs> Oh. Uh. Do you feel the burden of Aaron's job, like this huge burden? No. The stress that he walks around. It's with? a delight. Or is it like lifting it's this cloud? It's super easy. It's lifting this cloud. It's a, it, yeah, it's like it's like laying on a cloud. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh. Missing two people. They'll probably be back. Yeah. Oh, we got everyone at, we need actually. At some point, maybe. First package. Asterisk and the golden stick. An asterisk and asterisk the gods. Oh, okay, cool. Hell yeah. yeah. I think this is no, it's a comic book. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah got, we, we got some of these already. Yeah. And we uh, we looked at them and they looked really good. Uh, Hi, be. Blind Wave. Enjoy your gift from Carolyn K. Collins. Thank you, Carolyn. Carolyn K. Collins. Hi, Blind Wave. You may already be familiar with these characters. If not, there's uh, here's the first three <coughs> albums to intro you to them. Uh, this was my favorite growing up, and still is. Enjoy a gift from Carolyn Collins, uh, Jamble Seventy. Jamble Seventy. Okay, on Discord. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, she's um, on Twitch. Oh, okay, Twitch. Cool. okay, cool. Okay, cool. cool. I'm not exactly sure if she's the one who sent us these before. I, uh, I can't remember. I don't think because she Maybe. said, you know, you, I, you might be familiar with these, but here are the first three. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely back there. I used to read these in the newspaper, but now they're in glorious color. Yes, thank yeah. you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> we'll check these out for sure. We got a million comics, so it's hard to get through them all. I'll come back and let you know about their historical accuracy. Well, we definitely. Now we in definitely, glorious we, color. Like we technicolor. <laughs> I, I thought I, I thought I remember these being in color in the paper. I don't. Were never in color. Were I don't they? remember. Uh, I, I mean, there, 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 was, there were comics. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but comic they, pages that were definitely in color. Were there? Yeah. Well, sometimes when color centers are because you had like really washed out yellow and stuff. Like these are yeah. actual good printings. Mm -hmm. They're not like the dot matrix colors and stuff. Sure. Fun. Very fun. Yeah. Excite. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Carolyn. Carolyn Jambus. Ah, from Vaughn. Vaughn. Get it. Bone what? pins. Bone, bone pins. pins. Bone pins. Bone. All right. I now want the knee one. All right. I feel like the knee should be mine, but I'll take this. this. Shit. This yeah. Me. So I can go predator and or yes. sub zero whenever need be. Well, actually, holy shit, that's actually very comfortable. Feel that? Actually, kind of looks like. Oh, I like that though. That's, that's why I cool. Can't. It kind of looks like an uh, alien's I'll channel. I don't know what well. these two are, but. Uh, one looks like femur. <laughs> that's that's definitely, what I kind of thought. That's femur. definitely femur, and that is uh, this up here. I can't remember what it is. Let me double check for a note. I didn't look very closely. Oh. Thanks, Vaughn. Vaughn, thank you so much. Appreciate thank it. Thank you for these. Bone always pens. losing pins. Wait, which. No. What show would these go most appropriate with? Vikings. Well, all right, then. I Maybe. feel. <laughs> no! Well, my hero. <laughs> oh, because he's always breaking his bones. I'm Black Sails. Oh, that's true. That too. Black Sails is pretty good. My hero is also solid. I'll accept either Nearly answer. all of our shows, these pens would be good with. Thank you, Vaughn. Thank you, Thanks, Vaughn. Vaughn. Appreciate it, brother. <laughs> oh, it's the Blind Wave. Blind Wave. Really? I've never seen that before. Whoa. Lily Allen. Wait! Parental advisory. You did it again! <laughs> I get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> Lily Allen is a um, UK singer. Okay. Oh, yeah? Uh, I haven't heard of her, but we will check her out. I have sure. heard of her. Some. Nothing How did you do that? Was there, was there nothing in there? What? You just tossed it off again. Was there nothing in there? No, no, no. Okay, okay. good. I checked. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> well, we're not sure who this is from, but we will. You know what? The cool thing about these. Oh, my. The lyrics? Yeah, but they don't do that as much and Not anymore. I don't you gotta see. look them up online. Oh no, there's lyrics. There's definitely lyrics. Or liner notes. Give us your best rendition. Sun is in the sky. Oh why? Oh, That's why, enough. But I wanna <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you whoever Have sent we... that. Much love, appreciate it. We will um, check that out. We always appreciate when you guys send us music. Wonder why. No, she doesn't look familiar. It's explicit, though. Oh, okay. 
She's it's the M&M nice. of the UK. All right. I guess so. It's not true. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. It would be amazing if she you. you just happened to guess that. <laughs> Alrighty. From Vaughn! Vaughn? A skeleton! Vaughn. We fawn over Vaughn. We do. We do. Because we love him. Good like man. Andre the Giant. No more rhymes now, I mean it! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, we got a whole bunch of character pins! My oh, hero! Sweet. Yeah! Oh, well that's great. That's awesome. The, oh, I wonder... No, we don't have all of them, but we do have a, quite a few of them. I was wondering I if we had all the pins. All the class A? Yeah. Well, all the pins that big for girl. the... Uh, she is. Momo? Yeah, Momo. For the uh, bracket that we're doing. No, not quite. Cool. But most of the big ones are definitely in here. Big titty girl. I'd say whoever loses the bracket has to wear these on their skin. Oh, shit. Oh, for an entire reaction. Oh, my God. They're actual bins, too. <laughs> I hope Aaron loses. I hope Aaron loses so much. <laughs> these are great. Yeah. I love them. These are cool. Thank you so much, Vaughn. Thanks, Vaughn. Man, I wish Pogs were still around. You'd get My Hero Pogs. Oh, that'd right. be cool. That, that would be, be cool. cool. Get a big slammer. Yeah. These big metal ones. An All Might Slammer. Like, yeah, an All Might Slammer. <laughs> so you just yell, plus ultra every time you throw yes. it down. <laughs> I don't know Sleep. what pogs are. I'm gonna put one on are. as well. I'll put Sue on. Do you want one? You have been like, um, um they were around when I was Sleep. five and six. So you would have been. Be put Shoto on. Barely doing anything. <sighs> Lovely. Oh my gosh, I only got two threads though. Vaughn, thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. You need to let a professional pierce your nipple. Yes. No. It's very important. I thought I'd get them pierced. No. But now I got fatter. I'm like, well. Definitely there. <laughs> <laughs> Badass fucking Filipino with pierced nipples. <laughs> Thanks, Vaughn. Thank you, Vaughn. Thank you, Vaughn. Thanks, <laughs> From Michael. Why? Michael Y. Michael Y. <laughs> Ooh, this is a shirt. Looks. It's a. I lo I thought it was Bulbasaur at, at first, actually. I have no idea what this is. I don't either. Maybe there's a note. Could be. But either way, it looks cool. It's a baseball shirt. Yeah. I love that styling. It's a, yeah. It's a fat baseball shirt. Yeah. What is it? <coughs> I don't know. It never says anything on the label. Yeah. Hmm. By the way, Eric will definitely appreciate this. Eric probably Eric, knows. Eric likes to wear Eric shirts. I might know, yeah. Yeah, Eric loves to wear shirts, so I know he'll like this. Because it's, <laughs> it's, it's a shirt. shirt. Yes. Looks like a blue Furby. It does look like a blue Furby. A Furby if it was a druid. Maybe like baby Cookie Monster. Or like a... With like just shit in his hair. Or like an Ewok. That's not shit. That's well, like great, well, isn't it? Well, I mean... Like, no, it's like a... I mean stuff. Olive. Oh, stuff. Right. Yes. This is a uh, sticker. It's our yeah. Snapchat, too. Well, <laughs> cool. hey, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks, Eric, Michael. Eric, thank love you, Michael. Michael. Love you, man. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, now you broke it. It's for Shane. Ooh. Oh, damn. From who? From Amazon. From Frank Vasquez. Frank ah. Vasquez. Frank Vasquez. All right. One of those up straight. <laughs> I don't know. Baron Heat was here. I was out of that anyway. <laughs> A note. Oh, a turtle. Hell yeah. Oh, dude, Ooh. that's sweet. Hi, Blind Move Crew. I'm not TMNT, but just a regular turtle. I'm a huge fan of all of you, but I relate to Shane in more ways. Love y'all guys. Next time will be Rick's turn to get some appreciation from me. Have a great day and blessing. Blessings from Frank Vasquez. That is very Frank, lovely. Frank, well, I appreciate it, man. That is super cool. That's cool, and you know, you can watch our videos and you can connect with someone, man. That is it's like a turquoise tortoise. That is very cool. It is turquoise tortoise. I can tell to put this on. I might have to uh, Here. take. A a couple seconds. Okay, there you go. Ah, sweetness. I just pull the two strings together. Okay. At the same time. All right, great. How's that? That looks great. That's, yes. That's super cool. Frank, thank you so much, man. Much love to Turtles. Much love to you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Frank Be Vasquez. Yeah. Look at my Vasquez. Yes. <laughs> what eats Turtles? Uh, sh sea turtles? Uh, huh? Like sea turtles? That kind of turtle. It's a sea turtle. I know. What eats them? Sharks. Sharks. All right. I want a shark bracelet. They don't have a lot of natural predators. Like, 
I mean, they do on the shore. Like, well, generally yeah, birds they lay their stuff. eggs. Yeah, yeah, know. sure. Um, no, 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 no. Ah! Blind rage. Ugh. <coughs> What's your favorite? Oh! Oh, another Asterix one. and the Gaul. Oh, she did say the first three, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I think is... we have this one already. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah, I okay. think this is the one that we got from someone else. Okay. Headline Wave Enjoy Your Gift from Carolyn K. Collins. Yeah. Carolyn, again, thank you very much. Appreciate it. I love maps. Yes. He does love maps. Thank you, Carolyn. Appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. Went awesome. crazy when I showed him the Game of Thrones map. There was a D and D post, or a Twitter post about one of the main designers of Pathfinder. He was looking at a Google map of New Orleans, mm -hmm. yeah, and was saying like, if someone gave this to me as a fantasy map, I would reject it because it makes no sense in reality. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. It is from question mark. Get my knife. I have my knife. Okay. But I also don't need it. There's a turtle in here! What? Of the Teenage Mutant Ninja variety. What? Open the box! Aha! Don't lose the nose. Oh, I see it, I see it. No! Very cool, man. What one is that? It's oh, Shredder. Shredder. Can we assume this is from Josh? You Josh, can. It is Josh Williams. Oh shit. Hi Shane, hope you love that Mikey figure from last Sunday because the collection ain't over yet. Oh sweet man. <laughs> because what is a g what good is a group of heroes without their arch enemy? Nothing. From Josh Williams. Thank you so much. Oh. I actually uh. They're not nothing, they're just a bunch of normal dudes. <laughs> I mean, thank you so much for this. I mean, I actually have kind of been collecting this series. What's oh, his real name? Yeah. Rokosaki. Rokosaki! Nice job. Um, I'll t I'll, and I'll say it again. This version of the Ninja Turtles, uh, it's, it might be the best version I've ever watched. Or read. So cool. The IDW comics uh, are fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think, I think the IDW I game is good as well. The board game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the comics are still going on. Uh, the cartoon just ended. It was fantastic. And there were references and callbacks to all the movies, all the cartoons. Even there's stuff in the first movie. Like, that they, I mean, it was just so good. Like, it was. Cool. It was a, a lot of love with that show. It's, yeah. I love Ninja Turtles. Thank you so much, Josh. I'm always excited when I get them, so. Appreciate it. My collection isn't anything to Eric's yet, but I'm sure I'll catch up. <laughs> Especially with your help, Josh. Hey, you're spoiling yourself, right, Calvin? Hey, his weapons include forbidden ninja techniques. Yes. Uh, uh, forbidden oh. ninja techniques. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, love you, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, Josh. Okay. To Shane. Heck yeah. It's me. Oh. I know. I'm getting a lot of shit this time, motherfuckers. <laughs> Spill some hot sauce on there, I do that too. <laughs> no, it's hot sauce. Blind Wave Crew, Eric, Shane, Calvin, Aaron, and Rick. Hello! Hey guys, since you had trouble with Mailbag 110, I thought I would do a follow-up letter because there's a couple questions I really want to know your opinions on. Again, I would like to thank Eric and Shane for doing Dragon Ball Super Reactions on the or posting them on the new blind wave site well you are very welcome you also thank rick because why don't we've done that without him we it wouldn't be possible yeah we wouldn't have the site period <laughs> whoever's idea of doing that uh that that thank you that thank you okay <laughs> is it really like blurry or something no it's it's ty it's yeah. a movie oh okay because like eric and shane dragon Ball z wasn't just a show it was part of my geek filled life so, yeah, I definitely feel for you there, man. Love that show so much. That and Toonami's Late Saturday Nights, which consists of DBZ, the Majin Buu Saga, Inuashi, Inuashi Cowboy Bebop, Full Metal Alchemist, and I think Case Closed and Yu Yu Hakusho. Hell yeah. I definitely know Cowboy, the lineup. Cowboy Bebop, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Full Metal, which we're doing right now. Hope you check that out, man. Good, good shit. Yeah, they're really amping up, too, getting towards the end. Like, for me, it was... Uh, Dragon Ball Z and Gundam Wing, uh, mm. Big O, Outlaw Star, uh, there's some some really good ones, and of course Cowboy Bebop. Again, I would like to thank the Blind Wave crew for introducing me to My Hero Academia. Plus Ultra. Yes. yes. 
I good. even have gone ahead and read all the English version YouTube manga, and it was up to 175 in the comics. Jeez. Wow. <clears throat> the ones after Avatar TV show ended and Korra began. Before I get too many questions, I was wondering because I don't remember if I asked this in my first letter. I mean, in my last letter. Can a person write some short stories about fiction, blind wave crew adventures, and post them in the fan community portion of the site? Absolutely! Yeah, that's yeah. kind of what it's for. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, that would be awesome. We'll check that out. Yeah. There are four in all. Calvin's killer new girlfriend, Aaron's vasectomy, <laughs> they promise no needles. Rick's candy lane nightmare. That's not the sure worst I will, of all. <laughs> <coughs> not sure what I will call the last short story. Okay, now for my questions. Will you be doing the Season 2 My Hero Academia OVAs, and how long will you take a break between Season 2 and 3? Uh, I, I think we'll do... Uh, yeah, I, I think we'll do every, everything that's on video, and we don't really take breaks in between seasons. We just go right into it. Yep. Yeah, normally if we can. Um, I know there's, there's going to be a bit of a... like a jump, because we're... Uh, Aren't we a bit ahead on on one as far as like when the next season will come out? We will not finish in time for season three to go live. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna be a couple weeks behind on that, but uh, we're gonna be doing it every week like normal. Yeah, yeah, I mean there won't be any break as soon as we finish season two, the finale will next week will be season three premiere. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's pretty much how we're planning on doing it. Okay, now for my questions. Will you be doing? Ah! It's number two. If you could create an Avenger team out of Star Wars characters, what would your team look like? Since Avengers started with six, you can use six. Uh, I'd probably have to. I mean, what's the guy's name from Force Unleashed? Uh, Star Killer. Star Killer. Galen Merrick. Did you play that? Yeah, that's a fucking good game. It's a good Incredible game. Like, It's a good game. Saw Guerrera, uh, Boba Fett. Can I pick main characters? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay. The Avengers are all main characters, except oh, Ant-Man. That's, that's true. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, I'd say, like, yeah, Starkiller. Um, I'll throw some, like, wacky... Shoot, what was that uh, assassin droid? HK? Oh, HK. Yeah. Um, and... Han Solo? Maz Kanata. Maz Kanata. I'd yeah. put Han Solo on there because he'd be the Hawkeye of the group. No I mean, powers. I mean, a part of me just wants to pick just Palpatine, Vader. Like, uh, just the wait, most powerful. The bad guys? For the Avengers? Everyone. Okay, I'll find it. I would do <laughs> Anakin. Yeah, episode three, Anakin before the fall. Like, you know, his time in the Clone Wars, he got just super duper powerful. Anakin. Um, damn, man, there's a lot of bad guys. Like, I keep thinking else. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're thinking of powerful people. Yeah. Think yeah. of cool people with interesting powers or whatever. I'll say Anakin. Galen Merrick, Yoda, Mace Windu, who created, you know, Form 7, lightsaber style, the greatest fighter in the order. Um, maybe not. I don't know. BB? No. R2? I, I, I'd take R2 over BB. Right. Um, well, the thing about BB-8 that I appreciate is that he's smaller. That's yeah. pretty much it. Yeah. I mean, he's, like, newer, I guess. Call to the new. Um, shit. I'd... Ahsoka. I would do Ahsoka for sure. Yeah. Dang it. Um, Ahsoka. I and seen I need one more. I need one more. Starkiller. Chewy. Obi-Wan. I'm replacing somebody for Obi-Wan. We need a Luke. hot we need we need a hot shot pilot. I'll go with uh You already have Anakin. He yeah, you're he's a hot shot pilot. Leia. What the fuck's she gonna do? Just talk her talk her way out of it? That's what She's a diplomat. That's what Black Widow does. Yeah. <clears throat> Black Widow can kick some ass. <laughs> so can Leia. Not that kind of ass. Not the Black Widow ass. Black Widow will whoop That's Leia's what Star Killer is for. We're sending a powerful group here. And? Um, Everyone has a different... Like, fucking Black Widow, her only power is that she can fight hand-to-hand. -hand. Well, and she's highly skilled I'm in, in many things. Okay, but what about Hawkeye? Who can see real good. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but he can shoot real good, too. <laughs> I mean, he can see real good. That's how he can shoot real good. Iron Man has targeting computers. He can shoot real good, too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... I mean, literally, Tony Stark, his only power is wealth. 
Yeah. Well, he's super intelligent. Yeah. I need one more. But without the wealth, that wouldn't mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> right? How about, I, I, I'm um, trying to think the practical uses for Han. Ghost Jin. Ghost Jin? Yeah, Qui Gon Jin. Oh. I don't know how much yes. he'll be doing from the netherworld of the force. <laughs> he'll know things. <coughs> I got Qui-Gon alive. I don't want him dead also. Okay, fine. I guess I'm just going to have to go with Luke. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure if I want Luke. And s you should do old Luke. Old Luke's a fucking badass. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take Luke, okay? I mean, like, you know, black I'm hand with the metal. Yep. How he's poking his fingers and his... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I get you. What type of iPhone or size do you have? Just in case someone would go looking for a cover case. 5S? Um, uh, <laughs> a case is a bit... Um, <laughs> I think this is a, a bit late. 7 Plus. Is it 7 Plus? I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think it, it's it looks like it is, but I'm yeah, not it's sure. it's a 7 Plus. All the, all the ones after 7. They just look the same to me now. Uh, well, then there's eight, which is really good, and there's the X, which is very expensive and ahead of mo like every other phone except the most recent Samsung phone. Even the most recent Samsung phone has. Uh, Eric has the most recent Samsung phone. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what Aaron has. What do you Aaron and has and It's funny. It has a slower processor than. Plus, I think. It has a slower processor than the other Samsung phones. So actually, all the things they can do, it can't really do very well. I have the uh, S7 Edge. Yeah. Um, so, thank you. Okay, do any of you like any other type of shoes other than sneakers? Like, say, flip-flops, boots, or soccer shoes? I love boots. I wear what's appropriate at the time. It kind of goes my outfit. I mean, I, I like a lot of, like, Nike Jordans retro shoes. Uh, but, you know, I like boots. I like nice shoes as well. I mean, these are just right here. I'm wearing some black Nike knits, you know, that I use for, like, everyday shoes. I slip them on. Um, I like running shoes. I mean, I kind of like Rick. I, I have many shoes for different things. Yeah. Who would win in a WWE style street fight between Aaron and Melanie? Well, if it's a WWE style street fight, that means there's no disqualifications, which means people can run in and help Melanie. There's no one that would run in and help Aaron. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure Melanie by interference. <laughs> if it wasn't by interference. By at least the pop. <laughs> <laughs> if, if not, I, I would say Aaron. Bigger, stronger, has probably as much or more fighting experience. A street fight means you can use weapons. <coughs> yeah. And everything else. But. Yeah, but I mean. Melanie has all, would have all of her brothers. All things being equal in a street fight. In a street I, fight. <laughs> <laughs> See, two people. Like, if one's a big bad motherfucker, he usually wins, even though it's a street fight. If Solo Star Wars story is not good, is not as good as Rogue One, money or overall film. Is not as good. As Rogue One makes as much money or is as overall as good as the film, I think is what he means. Yeah. And if Episode Nine is not as good as Last Jedi, should Disney and Lucasfilm rethink their plans to make efforts to reconnect with the fan base? No, because every single Star Wars movie that comes out is very loud on both sides with critical reception. Every single one since the fifth one. Uh, you know, uh, the fifth one, or Empire Strikes Back, was... Highly controversial when it came out, really mixed reviews, and then with time, it became one of the greatest movies of all time. Uh, which, you know, some of the good reviews said this is the greatest movie of all time back then. Some right. people said, What's this? What's that? This is slow. They're turning, they're forgetting the Luke romance, they're turning into a Han romance, you know, just a lot of things uh, that obviously, in retrospect now, I think were their best decisions ever. Um, I mean, right now, I think they're doing a kick ass job. Uh, the highest grossing movie of 2017 was The Last Jedi. It's the highest reviewed one besides Empire. But there's a very loud fan base who don't like some of the decisions that were made with it for a particular character. I love it, I think it makes great sense, especially when you watch the whole movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. People are finding things to complain about, like the part where they were dropping bombs on something, like, you couldn't do that in space. And then someone just showed a video of Episode nine. I mean, episode. Episodes. Empire Strikes Back. Empire, but dropping yeah. asteroids. On the asteroids. Yeah. And like, well, I mean, this is Star Wars. You know what yeah. I mean? So, like, you know, uh, I, I think they're doing. There's no sound in space either, guys. Yeah. There's no explosions <laughs> like that either. They're, I mean, I think they're doing an excellent job, uh, and I don't think the fan base or uh, 
is upset, really. I, I don't. I, I know we certainly aren't. And I think uh, they're doing fine. Yeah, completely. Yep. If Calvin's hair and beard get too long, will you have to take him to the groomer so he doesn't become another cousin? Cousin it. Cousin it. From Adam's family. Oh. Uh, okay. My sister used to be cousin it. Uh, uh, married her actually. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's true. I did. Yeah. We. Uh, yeah, she was a little tiny, and she had a bunch of hair. And they just combed it down over her face, and she had a little voice like Evelyn already. So yeah. she would just wander around with hair all over her, and me 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 me. It's awesome. Should DC, since Wonder Woman and Man of Steel were the best films, con consider doing standalone film trilogies for characters like Marvel, then do a new Justice League but with a new Batman, John Jones, and Green Lantern? Um, I, I think they should have did standalone trilogies. Uh, or just did a better job of doing standalones, you know. I should do, do at least one standalone for some of these characters. I think they should have had standalones before introducing these characters before, before. into this into this big grandiose thing yeah. where we don't know who these characters are. And, yeah, and it's I, not as meaningful to us when they interact. I agree, but I will say, uh, uh, I love Wonder Woman. I love Man of Steel. I probably pick Man of Steel over Wonder Woman. Uh, I. I Really thought, uh, and I think most people thought Justice League was pretty good. Uh, it was definitely. A step I definitely in, enjoyed. Like it was. I, it was a. It was a step in the right direction. It was funnier. It was a char it, was, it was about characters. Like, cause you love these characters interacting. Like the bad guy, you know, he wasn't that good. No. Story was. But, story was okay, but just the character moments were fantastic, and that's what makes these movies so awesome. Like in the Marvel universe, is the characters. Yeah, you know, I mean, Thor too had a terrible bad guy, and the story was eh. But it yeah. still had Thor, and Chris Hemsworth is charismatic as hell, and we love him. Um, I've seen, I've only seen Man of Steel, but it's certainly not better than the Nolan trilogy. If we're talking about DC films, no DC or Marvel film that I've seen is better than the Nolan trilogy. I can't even count those. I mean, I, I mean, it, I think they're some of the best movies movies ever made. So I mean, we can just forget about reaching that quality for a long time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I like Man of Steel, and actually, Christopher Nolan produced that, and he was yep. a little involved in the story. And I, I think I can kind of see his touches on it, because his big thing is, you know, how would humanity react if there was an alien? Don't worry about Superman, don't worry about Superman being Superman. Like, this is an alien. Uh, and I thought they did a great job with it. I thought it was uh, Zack Snyder. It was definitely uh, a surprising movie coming for him, because it was a handheld. It was really artsy, it had just really artsy music. It wasn't this badass. Like, we watched 300, which is fucking amazing. And you watch, um, uh, shit, uh, the one that came out right after that, the superhero movie. Oh, um, I think you mean Watchmen. Oh, oh, Watchmen. Okay. Yeah. So when you look at 300, Watchmen, uh, and uh, Sucker Punch, like, you know, it just, Man of Steel is a surprising movie uh, for, those very, for those very reasons. I mean, I, Zack Snyder is awesome at creating awesome things, but he needs someone, I think, to... The, the movies just aren't edited well sometimes, like the pace. Like, they're here, I gotta do this, and then the next shot, they're there doing that. You know what I mean? Like, sure. I guess I can't really explain it very well. Um, that being said, love Man of Steel. Um, I love Justice League. Um, so, I mean, I, I, I love actually Ben Affleck as Batman. He's a great Batman. Um, I mean, honestly, I feel like if they keep going in this direction, like with the same kind of tone, I think they'll be fine. Justice League just didn't make a shit ton of money because people kind of lost faith uh, a little bit, honestly. Even yeah, though Wonder Woman lost what... faith, though. I mean, they're still moving in the right direction, even though they're moving there slower than, yeah. than other I, I, I franchises thought, that we've I, seen. I mean, it was, I mean, people thought it was going to make a lot more money because Wonder Woman was amazing and made a shit ton of money. Yeah, you know but... I mean? just, and Wonder Woman was in because... it. And they used her in the marketing more. Yeah. It's like, well, this movie's really successful. We use her in marketing more. So I, I don't really get it. I don't, I don't think like, I, I, mean, I, I don't. I don't get the the presumption that just because that this character is in there and we're going to have these other characters, that those characters together will make as much as the same number of as this character would. Yeah. You know, five Wonder Womans won't make the same amount of money as as you know the Justice League, basically, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, I think the idea was like, well, let's put all these guys together now. You know, I mean, like and it would be five times as it'd big. It'd be like the Avengers, yeah. yeah. I mean, but the thing is, like, the Avengers, I think we earned but that. But there was, yeah, there was the payoff with the Avengers. Yeah. Where there wasn't much payoff at all with Justice League. That being said, see, I don't watch Flash like Eric and Aaron. I, I, I really liked the Flash. And, and I liked uh, 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 Cyborg. Cyborg. Cyborg, yeah. I, I thought 
they built for like the time they had. They made me like these characters, and I was kind of kind of out. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah. Oh. I didn't really think they can build these characters up, make me like them, and they get along with Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and they. It's a, just a really good chemistry. Don't like, forget about Aquaman. You know, oh yeah, he was the fucking man in that movie, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like Aquaman was great. Like. I wish they had had maybe <clears throat> one more film before the actual Justice League. Yeah, one more. I mean, that being said, I I, I like where movie. they could have like had the actual introductions in that one and well, then more development. And I mean, yeah. and Justice League was also a new Batman's introduction as well. Yeah. So literally, the only original character that we well, had... he was a man. Of, he was in Batman vs Superman. Yeah. Uh, oh. So, yeah. That's right. Forgot about that movie. <laughs> um, which you know, like, you know, like when we reviewed it, we we liked it a lot. Uh, I've seen it a few times. Like, there's, it's, you know, actually the extended version is better, which is weird because it feels long when you watch it, the the, the visual cut. But the extended version it fleshes out things better. Well, so, it, it paces everything better too. So yeah, it it's just feel so fucking long. Out. Yeah. yeah, but it's good. Yeah, I mean, I think they're moving in the right direction. You know, I, 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 I like my Marvel movies. I like my DC movies. They're they're quite different in tone, and yeah. I like them. I think part of the problem is that Warner Brothers just needs to keep the studio executives. Out of the production process. Yeah, let, you're, let the people who they hire to do that job do their job, <coughs> and not cut in and say, "No, I, I want you to change this little thing." Yeah, you're every right. Every five minutes. Which I mean, I feel like it's it's like hindering their. Josh Trank's so Fantastic much. Four, which I did not see actually. I think you guys want to go see in theaters. I didn't see it. Um, like I heard, it was absolutely plagued with production problems. Mm -hmm. And the original vision of Josh Trank. Same thing happened to Suicide Squad too. Yeah. Yeah, like exact same. yeah, he had more Joker stuff that they made him cut out. Uh, I guess, from what I understand. So, like, I mean, Josh Trank, he put on Twitter, said, this is not my movie at all, honestly. You make this movie, you write this story, and then in the production process, they just make the movie their own movie. Uh, of course, Josh Trank has other problems. He got fired from Star Wars. He's going to do a Star Wars movie. It was rumored to be the Boba Fett spinoff, and he got fired from it. Uh, but, I mean, whatever. What yeah. Calvin said. <laughs> Well, that was the questions I had, and I will get this out in the mail for Mailbag 112, I hope. You did? Sincerely, Vaughn. Excellent. P.S. My birthday was March 17th, and for the A Future podcast, would you watch Aldo Jones' Avenger Infinity War teaser trailer? Maybe. This is not the Super Bowl spot he did, but the spoof of the one Eric, Melanie, and Aaron reacted to. Thank you, Vaughn. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, Vaughn. Thanks, Vaughn. <laughs> <sighs> My wife's like, did you buy those hundred dollar shoes? <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were like four fifty forever on my Amazon list, and they just dropped out to, to one twenty. Jeez, that's insane. There are these N Nike. Ooh. Like, oh shit, Red Hood. Oh hell yeah, Red that's Hood. Awesome. Uh, hi, Blunt Wave Gang. It has been a while, and it's been tough, but thankfully I have your channel to help me through. Here is an awesome volume with my favorite DC character, Jason Todd, Red Hood. Spoiler! Here is your favorite DC character, Fleet! DC? Yeah. Thanks, Fleet. Fleet, thank you so much. That's awesome. Yeah, he was awesome in Arkham Knight. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, um, I the mean, video game. Yeah, I mean, it's slightly different. Uh, um, there was a uh, there was skin, wasn't there? Yeah, I mean, you could play him as Red Hood. You're saying the you saying the character? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the character was cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, it, it's same basic idea. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Much love. Uh, I really appreciate his Jason Todd stories, actually, especially the Arkham Knight, uh, like Rick just said. So we'll check this out for sure. Thank you. Much love. Awesome. Hell yeah. Probably Batman. Batman, Wait, Batman or Superman? Batman is just the easy choice. I, I mean, he's such an interesting guy. Yeah. Like you know, I've read like some of Kevin Smith's. Like he writes these huge things about him. I mean, uh, just he's not this great fun and, guy. He's and he this has lonely the lonely man who's obsessed. And he has the best villain in comics to work off. He from. has the best villain, yeah. yeah. Dang. Uh, and I love Superman. I love Superman. I love Smallville. The way they made uh, Clark Kent interesting. Clark Superman in high school. Okay. <laughs> I love uh, Superman one and two. And uh, Henry Cavill, he just looks like Superman. He does. That out. I mean, just the fights. Just the outfit. Love Man of Steel. I just, I don't know. If I had to pick, I'd go Batman because he's got the better villain and better movies. But Man of Steel, uh... And better video games. Superman's video games are terrible. Yeah, I haven't really played any. <laughs> to Aaron Elliott! <laughs>
how could they be good? I mean, how could they really be good? Like, how can you tone him down? I would make a Telltale style game. Oh, well, you could do that, yeah, but you couldn't make an Arkham type game. No, but with what? Superman? Yeah, yeah. with Superman. No. I mean, he'd kill everybody. I mean, he wouldn't kill everybody. He would just. He's Superman. He would yeah. just not be in any danger ever. Yeah. Yeah. I like to, I like it would always be a thing where you had to let the villain get hey, he away. He doesn't kill anyone. Batman doesn't kill anyone. You run people over with your thing <laughs> yeah. and it shocks them out yeah. of the way so you don't I kill know. them. Yeah. So. Jeff Knapp to Aaron. Jeff Knapp. Jeff Knapp. Whoa, oh. shit. That's awesome, man. That's well, super freaking cool. Aaron doesn't need to know that this came. <laughs> he doesn't watch mailbags Wait, anyway. there's more? Ah! That he can have. The desk's over there. <laughs> Good shot, You've Shane. got the trash can. Awesome. There's a note. Just kidding. And, just, um, just kidding, Jeff. This is yeah, from Jeff. Aaron, happy Easter, my friend. Here's a Spider-Man figure and a little Bulbasaur keychain. Talk to you later on Twitch. Jeff. Jeff Nair. Thanks, Jeff. Jeff Nair. You will love this. Jeff this is awesome, Jeff. He's, he's definitely cool. gonna love that. We certainly appreciate it. Man, a box. Look how poseable I know, is. the holographic on the back. It's super cool. Different hands, uh -huh. different face. Yeah, yeah, and he's got that, that eight pack. Or so. So you can put him in different positions. Marvel yeah. Legends. Yeah, for display. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. That's that's super awesome. The Eric Whiteley. Oh! Oh wow. To Eric. What is it? There must be a note. What is it? <laughs> it's a Pokemon card. What is it? Is it's, it Charizard? It's, it's an original holographic Venusaur. Oh my gosh. Let me see that. This is my first out of the big three that I got. Uh, Let me sir. Mint condition. Mint condition. Eric, as Blind Wave leader, please present Aaron, Blind Wave employee of the month, with this gift. <laughs> uh, Tell him how proud you are and keep up the hard work as he may be in line for a promotion soon. From Alfian, your fan, all the way from Brunei Darusalem. Darusalem. Brunei Darusalem. I mean, this is fan. I want to say he misspelled Jerusalem, but that's probably no. just ignorant. <laughs> this is absolutely. This is, no, it's a, it's a real place. This is absolutely fantastic. I've looked it up before. And it's Alfian. Thank you, Alfian. I, I remember just getting this and being so pumped up. Yeah? Yeah, man. Let me see it. A tiny nation on the island of Borneo. Oh, I see. Surrounded by Malaysia and the South China Sea. It's known for its beaches and biodiverse rainforests, much of it protected within reserves. Well, that's awesome. Cool. Sounds like a, you live in an awesome place. And now like, I know. Yeah. Six foot seven inches long, and it weighs two hundred and twenty-one pounds. I think it weighs more than two twenty. We're being six seven, and all that tissue. You know, you imagine like a big. I mean, it's got a tail too, right? No. Mm -mm. No. 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 Wow. Well, it's got a flower. He's like a frog-like dinosaur type deal. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's because he's plant fiber. He weighs less. But let's see. Mm, let's open this. No! <laughs> I mean, it's just the plastic sheath, but still. I wow, thank you, there. Aaron. Is I mean, I wish he was here for that, honestly. Uh, he's, yeah. He's, yeah, he, he he's kinda, gonna... You guys kind of missed a hell of a reaction. I mean, I was stunned, personally. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, I, I don't hate Bulbasaur. Uh, I mean, he's, just, he's probably my least favorite out of the big three. But, I mean, he's certainly <clears throat> probably the most interesting one. I mean, fucking Tarmander's a fucking, you know, a, a dragon. Yeah. I mean, not, not really Razor Leaf and Drain Life are good moves. Squirtle, yeah. Jay! Let's turn. It's my turn. Did you, collect all, did you collect Pokemon cards? Yeah. I had all 151. Oh, you did? I pretty much did, I think. I mean, I had I had Charizard Blast with Venusaur. <laughs> so, yeah. It's all that matters. I think the last one I got was like Nid <coughs> Nido King or something. It was like the last one missing. Uh, Nido King. From Vaughn! Vaughn! Get it down! I mean, I had pretty much all of them. Uh, I don't know what that is. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Thanks, Vaughn. I see a pirate. Vaughn Lee, thank you. Huh? 
Surrender the booty. What? Why'd you read it? Whoops. That's how Italian girls in high school. Right? Surrender the booty, man. Ah, uh, that's super cool. That that's, is... re that's really fucking cool. Awesome. Yeah, this will be. I love it. This will be awesome for black sales. We have. Like three four, flags. We have three flags for the background and one mug for the table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have to rob uh, the skull thing from a board game we have. <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks, Vaughn. Thank you, Vaughn. That's super cool. Awesome. We'll definitely put that up in the next rack. <laughs> uh. From Jeff to Jeff. Eric. Jeez, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, he's. Uh, the Madman! Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Uh, it's Zelda not broken! Paint, paint glasses. It's not broken! That is well packaged, my friend. And Lego Boba Boba Fett. Boba Fett? Uh, bo <laughs> Bulbasaur. Gotcha. <laughs> no, this is, this is a buildable figure. It's an actual action figure. Buildable figures, yeah. yeah. They've got like the ball and joints. Yeah. Yes. Holy <laughs> shit, this is cool. Uh, damn. What were the... Bionics? Yeah. 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 Yes. That's... Bionicle? Bionicle, that's it. Yeah. That's super cool. That is awesome. Oh, he's got the rockets and the shit that fly out, too. <laughs> that's I wonder cool. if his gun really shoots. It yeah, it does. It seems so from the cover. It does. That's awesome. Whoa. Uh, I think this is Skyward Sword Link. Oh man. Which might be my favorite Zelda, even though I haven't beat uh, Breath of the Wild yet, which is obviously really cool as well. Oh. Eric's gonna appreciate the hell out of these. He will. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're... Hand wash only. Do yeah. not soak. Yeah, do not soak. Don't put in the dishwasher. But awesome. He'll drink them on stream and it will look weird. Yes. Because they're green. Hold I think they're so me. small. Like, <laughs> if you look at Eric's cups, they're like a bucket, you know, when he, hold, when he holds them there. I mean, he's got one for each hand. Yeah, but you have to hold it like this. <laughs> That's true. Thank you so much, Jeff. <coughs> I was hoping it would say what he thinks he was going on. <coughs> Which ones? Which ones it was. But uh, doesn't. I mean, the art style is Breath of the Wild. Yeah. I mean, uh, Skyward Sword. Sword. Yeah. yeah. I would agree. <coughs> okay, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jeff. That's super cool. He will definitely appreciate those. To Aaron, damn. Those motherfuckers. <laughs> I, I got a lot earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't the theme. Jeff! Jeff Knapp. Oh, Again. shit. Ultimate Spider-Man. The Vulture. And Spider-Man. Vulture and Spider-Man. Oh, what? That's super cool. That's awesome. Dude, I, I love Vulture. <clears throat> oh, yeah, man. Oh, man. So this is uh, figures directly inspired by comic book art. Yeah, and this would be from Ultimate Ultimate Spider-Man Spider issue 90. I love it when they make figures based on, like, cover art. Oh, yeah. Um, comics is awesome, but also there's a company that makes figures based on <coughs> NES cover art. So they made Jason Voorhees in purple, like, from Friday the 13th. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. That's awesome. There's uh, these Ninja Turtle action figures that are based off Ninja Turtle 4, four Turtles in Time. They're yeah. pixelated looking. Oh. And there's like foot soldiers and shredder as well. And they're, they're fucking amazing. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. Like they're really cool, man. Aaron, here's your last of your Easter box. Hope you like it, Jeff Knapp. <laughs> I can guarantee he I loves it. I guarantee he'll love yeah. it. Thank you so I love it, damn it. I love it I'm too. Jealous. I'm jealous. I'll put that on my good. desk. It's very cool. Fucking Jeff? Well, I'm just kidding. Jeff. It's not here. <laughs> not here, Jeff. <laughs> Looks like a dog's been chewing on this one. <laughs> no. No mailman have like dog pepper spray that they carry with them. <laughs> no, they just let them chew on this box. That'd be funny. <laughs> they do. They, yeah, they do. Whoa. Go, go, Power Ranger! Oh, Mighty Morphin Tommy Green Ranger. Ranger. Do, 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 I follow him on Instagram. He's a cool dude, man. He seems like it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a wrestler that has a YouTube channel where he does video game stuff. Okay. And he was on it. Oh, really? Playing the Power Rangers game with him. Yeah, he, he's a he's a cool dude. He's a nice dude, man. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh. And the White Ranger. Yeah. Had to unwrap it first. Uh, dear crew of Blind Wave, the White Ranger is for Eric, and the Green Ranger is for Aaron. Hope you enjoy. Uh, it doesn't say who it's from, though. Oh, man, dang. Well, thank you, whoever got us, got them this. Uh, we will make sure that they get to them. Um, when I first pulled it out, I saw that. I was like, oh my gosh. 
I guess the, uh, the, uh, uh, I mean, the thing. With, with this series, you can Can't combine remember. all five of the original weapons to make the super crossbow thing. Oh, wow. That they used to do. Oh, yeah? <coughs> I mean, Power Rangers so, I mean, that first season, besides the cheesiness, it's a really cool show, man. Like, like when they introduced Tommy, like I just, obviously green's my favorite color, and like I'm just always into Megazord. like these, what's that? Megazord. I, I was always right. interested in these good guys, bad guys, these Vegeta type characters. Sure. I mean, uh, That's yeah. what made him everyone's favorite, you know? Yeah. But thank you so much. It was very rare back then. Yeah, it yeah. was. In, in American yeah, shows. Now, now we have it all time, but you know. Thank you so much. Line wave. Did you guys ever watch Roseanne? No. A little. I did a little bit. Never well, had TV. The first, the, the new season Ooh. just premiered, uh, season 10. Oh, for Rick and Aaron, for the great Cuphead gameplay. Oh, shit. Oh, it's the Cuphead devil. You Made know what? From I played that fucking game for any of you guys. That's what's funny about it. And I was talking about it, talking about it on here, and you guys streamed it without me. You never beat oh, it. You never streamed it. You should no. have streamed it. Well, they said they were going to do it. Well, I said that we should do it, and then y'all did it. You and I have <laughs> our own co op game. Now we do. We have a couple. The way out. A way out. A way out. Which hopefully, be making its way to YouTube soon. But this is awesome. Yeah. Did you guys finish it already? No. Cuphead. No. A way out. A way out. No. You should. You should tell the good people when you stream that game. Well, we'll probably be streaming it sometime. I don't know. <laughs> Check Twitter. Well, maybe today, right? Check Twitter and make sure you. Yeah, yeah, but they won't see this uh, video. Well, I know, but I'm just asking you. Think you do that? Um, Check out Twitch. Uh, afterwards? Yeah. Maybe. If you follow, then you get notifications <laughs> for what the streamer Probably. is streaming and when. So you can go ahead and jump in and watch then. Away from somewhere. Also. This is awesome. Devil, not nearly as hard as King Dice. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched King Dice, so. Hey, thank you so much. Thanks, Nate. Pretty sure I got the final kill in the Devils. So that means the pop's mine. That pop looks. Uh, the art style lends itself a lot of pops. It does. Actually. Oh, yeah. That's to Shane. No, yeah. Go ahead. Um, Jeff, thank you for you because one for you is to be a very short video this week. It would. Uh, I mean, sometimes we have long ones, sometimes we have short ones. Uh, but this week, if it wasn't for Jeff Knapp and Vaughn, we would have a much, much shorter video. Jeff Knapp, Vaughn, and uh, Carolyn, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you hate that so much. It's not that, it just, it was the feeling of rubbing. Yeah. Like, it gets shot through the knife on my wrist. Shot through the heart. Oh, what'd you get? I see a variety of things. All for Shane. Yes. And I know because I said I haven't seen Space Jam yet. I haven't seen Space Jam either. Well, we have two copies of it now, at least. <laughs> There's one back there as well. Yeah. yeah. But it's a movie everyone should watch to better understand the 90s. It's a historical piece, really. Should be in the Congress. An ingenious blend of live action comedy and cutting edge animation. Los Angeles Daily News. <clears throat> What's that? Kylo Ren the Black series. Oh shit. That looks good. Oh. Which Rick has not seen any of the new movies yet, but. Nope. Don't know who he is. Uh, <laughs> Love it. Thank you so much. Super cool. And of course... Looks like a strange cosplay of Darth Vader. <clears throat> Kylo Ren. <laughs> oh, there's a story to that. And we got some notes here. And... What the hell? The person didn't remove the thing. Oh, oh my oh. gosh, are you kidding me? Do we have any strong enough magnets here? Tampering with ink tag releases an ink and could cause injury. And now you're gonna to have to take it to a store and they're gonna be like, we can't use this, you have to pay for it. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Are you fucking I guarantee me? there's YouTube videos we can look it up. It's black anyway, it's gonna be fine. Just pull it off. It's probably like white no. ink. <laughs> it could cause injury. <coughs> Man, I'm thankful. that sucks. We'll, we'll figure it out however, however we need to. That's. Dumb as shit. Unless he stole it. Unless he did steal it. Jeff! You're gonna get us in trouble. Jeff. Okay. <laughs> Shane, my brother, here is your Easter box. A couple of Kylo Ren figures and a Rick and Morty hat. Here is a copy of Space Jam for you to watch. Always a pleasure. Talk to you later, bruh. Jeff, 
Thank you so much, man. You really know me. You've been paying attention with my space, my lack of Space Jam viewings. Of course, I play Kylo Ren and probably, well, you know what? I'll say, yeah, I think probably the best choreography. Uh, that one particular fight uh, in that one particular movie uh, is, is pretty good, but it's also shot very well. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the thing. The, you know, when you have those kind of fights versus a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you know, they, they, it's like apples and oranges, honestly. But Kylo Ren is incredible. I mean, they act, uh, you know, Adam Driver, he's an incredible performer, and his most recent performance was just amazing. Mm -hmm. um, he's, what, out. he's what I think George was trying to channel uh, with Hayden. Uh, and we have some great Hayden, mo you know, moments. And we have movies where Hayden Christensen wins acting awards, like House of Glass. Uh, I mean, Shattered Glass, where he played uh, uh, that journalist so-and-so Glass who faked all these fucking news stories over a five-year period. He got found out for it. And he was at a movie called uh, um, Life as a House, which made me ball when I was younger. And he used great performance in that. He won a bunch of awards for that. Well, he was in, uh, he was in also in that one uh, where... Like, there's a condition where uh, when people are put under anesthesia, yeah, yeah, they're he's, actually he's, fucking awake the whole fucking time. Yeah, he time was able with that. Everything. Yeah, that, that, I, I, I thought that was a cool movie. I mean, the premise is a little silly. I mean, it, <clears throat> I thought he was good. I mean, it mostly involved him laying down and you hear a voiceover. Yeah. He feels what's going on. <clears throat> and, but I feel like Adam Driver, like, I think is mostly director, like Ryan Johnson. He was able to channel kind of that torn darkness, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was awesome. Thank you, Jeff. And there's a note actually for Eric, for Eric's box, which I'm going to read now. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I got a little bit of sore throat. Eric, I forgot to put a note in your Easter box. So here it is. I saw these gla these glasses, you know, these the Zelda cups that we got, and, sh you know, and, uh, and shot glass, and thought you needed them. Shot glass? Maybe another box? Maybe. I don't know. But no, there's Lego Boba Fett here. Maybe he just meant pint glasses. Yeah, we, you know, okay. Eric. That's a hell of a shot, son. Yeah, Eric, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, and, of course, who doesn't need a Lego Boba Fett from Jeff? So Eric will appreciate that. Yep. And I appreciate you too, brother. Ah. Thanks, so. Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Thank I appreciate you, Jeff. it, man. <clears throat> That's you? <coughs> nope. Who the hell said it was proven fast to do that? It doesn't even make any sense. Ah. It's a tiny thing. Oh! I think I know what it is. Ah! Ha ha ha! It is! A ring on a necklace. Oh. Sick, uh, prowl, what's it, what is it? Uh, a little piece from one of my favorite games, Nathan Drake Ring from Nate from Somewhere. Nate uh, from Somewhere? It is a, a sick Magnus Parva ring. Cool. From Sir Francis Drake. Uh, and yeah. I just found out recently that I am a direct descendant of Sir Francis Drake. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh. Dibs. <laughs> that's that's cool. That's awesome as hell. Thank I you, mean, Nate. The Uncharted games just kind of really changed storytelling in video gaming, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, you see these games now trying to incorporate that kind of like... The action dialogue. Yeah, the action dialogue. It just, I uh, love those games so much. All it's, four of them are great. I need to play... <clears throat> There's the fifth one that came out. It's Chloe. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's... With yeah, the, Chloe and... Uh, the other chick. The, the black remember. chick. The Uncharted... It's the bad guy. Yeah, the... One of the, the like, the anti-hero. Yeah. From, Four. They team up. Uh, the game's supposed to be pretty good. So, I'm going to definitely miss Nathan Drake. Thank you so much. It's you. I know. It's your Easter. I know, but it's the big box. <laughs> I, I don't have a choice. This is Jeff. Jeff Nutter. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Nutter. Jeff. Okay, thank you, Jeff, for being you, man. Alone in the world. I mean, you could just send us a letter or send us nothing, but you sent us all the stuff, so thank you. Yeah. The man really holds the tradition and... And you could have only picked your favorite to send it to. Yeah. But you sent it to Calvin, so he wouldn't feel bad. Yeah. Calvin? Ah! Oh. Whoa! Dude! Oh, that is cool. It's a TARDIS console lamp! Lava lamp! It's super <laughs> cool! I've never seen one like this before. This, this is awesome. And? <clears throat> and what? <gasps> it's Groot Rocket! From Guardians! <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's so cool. 
that's an uh, Infinity War figure. It is. And so Holy is this. Shit. Yes. What? Oh, cool. oh, and Captain America with his shield things. Ah! <coughs> this is super cool. And last but not least. Oh, wow. What is it? Reese's eggs. Reese's eggs. Oh, I love Reese's cups. Calvin, happy Easter. Smeghead here. Oh, Smeghead. Yeah. <laughs> happy Easter, Smeghead here. Are a couple of Infinity War no, figures. Happy for... Easter, Smeghead. Ha here are a few. Yeah. No commas, Jeff. <laughs> happy Easter, Smeghead. Here are a couple Infinity War figures for you and some Easter candy. I saw this TARDIS console lamp and thought the biggest blind wave Hoovian needed it. <laughs> Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, man. Aaron Jeff, was here. God, Jeff, God bless you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for these gifts, Jeff. Well, they all come with Infinity Stones. Uh huh. As well. Yeah. Thanos is gonna come for you. Hope he doesn't collect them all. Yeah, it says on the on the back which which other ones there are. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Iron Man has the Time Stone. Mm -hmm. Cap has the what is it, Mind Stone. Uh, Star Lord has the Ether, which is. Oh fuck. What's that? Soul Stone? I've seen every movie once. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's a Soul Stone. Except Guardians of the Galaxy saw like ten times. Thor has the uh, <laughs> the what is it? Spirit? Space? Space? I don't know. And Rocket has the uh, Power Stone. I think. I think that's what they are. In any case, They're we love it. Cool. We love it. Thank I you love so, it much. so much. Thank you. Yeah, I well, certainly so, so yeah, appreciate these. I'll put them uh, on my wall. We'll put them out when we do our Infinity War review. Yeah, totally. Yeah, Hopefully. Totally look, for, to, totally look forward to that movie. When's that coming out? Like a month? Uh, end of April. Yeah, end of April. It's like April 24th or something like that. Okay, yeah. 26th. It's soon. 26th. Is that all we got? That's that's everything. Okay. We forgot two packages. Yeah. Yes, but we found them we'll do right now. It's like two minutes later. We still have the pins on, so it's all good. All right, cool. It's gotta be a poster, right? I would assume. Zazzle. Zazzle? That's the oh. company. Zazu. Isn't that, isn't that the bird from... Yes, he's yes. a bird from, from the Lion King. King. Yes. Yeah. I cannot wait for the fucking The Lion King movie to come out. A new one. <laughs> did you see the Jungle Book, Rick? No, but I did see Beauty and the Beast. I like. I really like Beauty and the Beast. Oh. The Jungle Book was better. Oh, hey, shit. Oh, my gosh. Oh shit! Just, just nope. Unwrap it now. Um, no. Let's see here. No. Uh, the note. No. Unwrap it first, <laughs> then the note. It appears to be a poster. With fucking line wave eyes all oh, over it. Oh, it's so long. Are we sure it's poster or wrapping paper? <laughs> it, might, it actually feels like wrapping paper. <laughs> it might be wrapping <laughs> paper. <laughs> yeah. Custom wrapping paper. Okay. Yeah. Read the notes. I'm confused. All right. This is so cool, though. Uh, from Kerry Folks Jr. <laughs> hey guys, I love your videos. I thought I'd send you something different from what you usually get. Maybe you guys can use this for Christmas or birthday. It is wrapping paper. Glossy shit. wrapping paper. Why do we unwrap it? <laughs> oh, this, this is this is a sweet idea. Thank you so much. This is actually very different. Yeah. Uh, and now I just want a bunch of this. It's not quite enough to wrap Aaron's desk while he's gone. No. It's um, enough to wrap Eric's desk though. <laughs> Eric's desk is you can wrap tiny. mine. That's so cool, Carrie. Thank That's you. That's super yeah, awesome. I would really Thank you very love much. To desk. I like to do it like uh, Jim did to Dwight in the office. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah. Where he wrapped literally everything. Wait, so you haven't seen the office? I haven't, but I've seen all oh, the pranks. Oh no! I know what you mean. Oh my god, they're yes. so good. You gotta watch oh, the office. So man. good. Shit. That's right. half of what makes the office good. You spoil it for yourself. Well, yeah. I've seen them all. No reason to watch the office. Oh, there's other reasons. <laughs> oh, there's definitely other. <laughs> reasons. The office is one. Of the, it's a great mother con. Thank you so much. And who said that again? Casey. Carrie. 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 Bad. Carrie. Thank Carrie. you. Appreciate it. Bad with names. <laughs> I'm good with faces. I am good with faces. Bad with names and faces. That's and emotions. Unfortunate. I had a rat and empathy. Just I'm good at towerfall and smash. You're just a psychopath. <laughs> Sociopath. <laughs> oh wow. Oh Ooh. shit. Oh shit. Ebony Ma. Wait, this is the this is the torturer guy? Yep, torturing Doctor Strange. Yeah. Proxima Midnight. These are all the bad guys! Yep. Holy <laughs> oh, shit! 
and Corvus Glaive. Corvus Glaive. There's a, there's a name Holy to their group crap. that I can't remember. Something like the Black Squad or something like that. Because it's Midnight, Ebony, and Corvus. Corvus, which I assume is something black, but very cool. These are awesome. These will go great on our shelf. We'll have these out for sure. Uh, doing a reaction. A review? <coughs> you mean? Uh, yeah, a review. They won't let us film reactions in the movie theater. Yeah, unfortunately. It's very strange, that. Yeah, unfortunately. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. It. This is awesome. All right. This is 100% everything. So thank you for watching this week's mailbag, everybody. Happy Easter. Yeah, happy happy Easter, Easter to th all of you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you for just everything. You know, you guys don't have to, but you continue just to bless us. And, you know, this is certainly the most exciting video of the week for us. Except, you know, happy April Fool's video. We'll have to put in the title, Aaron's Greatest Reaction Ever. <laughs> he's not in it. No, it's... Probably, uh, Rob, you know, you should do that. That would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> no clickbait. Dang it! Drop my knife again. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, if you want to see all of our reactions that we do for, for stuff like this, subscribe! So you can get notifications for all of our videos coming out. Also, we do early access and full-length reactions as well. Check out links down in the description for all that and our social media. Goodbye! Bye. Check out our Discord!